By God, it feels good to be back on the Mark Dips Copenhagen channel. All right, so my chair arms are fucking dirty. There's my there's my bed thingy. There's my back assigned thingy. There's my television. There's my god dang skull poster that the people over at Skull sent me, and I was like, Waka Waka. Like I was like, holy shit. Um. I got another tattoo that happened this thing. It it's it's like killer as fuck. Makes me feel like awesome. I love it. It's like pretty damn fresh, like two days. It's like where all the discoloration is coming from, but um Yeah. Fuck it. It looks dope. I got that one. I got this one. Um, I think you guys already knew about that one and that one. But shit, that happened. But before we go any further, um, I had to like format my computer. I just now decided I wanted to record, so I'm like so unprepared. So I don't have OBS, and I don't have um shows. Other thing I don't have. Uh, Editing software, that thing, I cannot edit, so this is just going to be like one straight cut type shit, so my bad, um, but that's just how it's got a cotton pick and be for now, alright, okay, so, what are we going to do, um, oh shit dudes, I did not think this through enough, um, ah oh, damn, Fuck, I didn't think this through enough, man. Dude, I got like this fucking zit on the corner of my ass. <laughs> it makes it so impossible to say it. You think I'm joking? I'm not. Don't pack me a dipski of my, for whatever reason, new daily grizzly wintergreen. I've always shitted on people for dipping this shit on the day. I don't think I have since I rebooted my channel, but way back when I did, I was always gonna be like, who would you want to greet you? I don't know. It's it's weird. I used to hate Grizzly with a passion. You know, like a few months ago. But I got a craving for it and all of a sudden it was it, it's weird. I don't like I don't like it, but I don't hate it. It's just it, it's 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 I don't, I don't know, but I got a log of it. Um man. But that's how that went down. Um Chris Tips one pack? No, nah, no, no, Chris Dips one pack. Mark Dips Kelvin hanging pack. <sighs> I'm gonna review this and look like a fucking dumbass, and I'm probably not even gonna put it up because I don't wanna look like a fucking dumbass. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna one Dipski. How are dipping videos still a thing, man? Like, when I was like 14. Those things were the shit, but now I can't even, I don't even like them anymore. I don't really watch Redneck TV videos, not because I don't like the guy, but because his, uh, his videos are like way too memey for me, and I find them a little annoying, but that's just me. I mean, I see where they're funny, I just don't like it all the time, but... Outlaw, I don't even think he does dip and deals it much anymore. I keep up with him a little bit. I watched the fuck out of Chris Dips 1. And Real Dipper, I don't even know what the fuck he's doing, but I watch him from time to time. Dude, the lighting is so much fucking better than I remember it being here. It's weird. It feels so crisp. I had an idea what we could have done a video on, and then I forgot. Mm. Shit, man. Maybe if I, like, just, like, believe hard enough. There, there it is. This dude right here will believe in me. He might believe in me if I try really Really hard, dude. What the fuck is on my face? Yeah. Oh, but shit. Um. 
Fucking A. Uh. Oh, dude, Nathaniel's supposed to pick me up. Where the fuck is that dude? He was supposed to pick me up like two hours ago. I don't think he's coming. Something on my necky neck. Whatever, fuck it, I don't care. Um, I don't give a damn. Fuck it. So why the fuck ain't I been uploading? Like, honestly, oh shit, I just fucking shook the camera like a motherfucker. I can't edit that out, that's a shame. But honestly, um, okay, where the fuck I've been? Okay, so at first, I started to drop out of high school. Shit went down. I had to move out of my mom's house. Started staying with this chick. We dated for a hot second. Uh, it's complicated now. I don't know what it is at this point. Um, and yeah, pretty much just between that and having and having her, um, I literally pretty much 100% forgot about YouTube. Like literally, I just woke up one morning. I'm like, oh shit, I ain't uploaded in a hot minute. And that's when I made that my last video. I think's what it was. Yeah. That one was recorded and uploaded straight from my cellular device. But, um, that's pretty much what that's been. Life for me has been, eh, it's been a little iffy here and there, but, eh, whatever. Everything's working out right now. Got all the dip I need and shit. But, as I was saying earlier in the video, I don't think the dipping community is a thing anymore. And I need to shit find shit to do. I would say I could be a gamer, but a gaming YouTuber, but I don't feel like editing that hard and I really can't commentate when I game because uh, I get in the zone, auto zone, and yeah, that shit happens. Um I, did, I don't know what to do videos on. Uh, I could go back to like what I, what I to what I originally based this channel on back in 2015. If y'all remember that, you OG as fuck. But um, pretty much all I would do is put a dip in and talk shit, whether it was about something. This is like way back when I'd put a dip in. Every once in a while, I do reviews to try to gain subscribers. For the most part, I was putting a dip in and. I was pretty much just talking shit. <laughs> people enjoyed it. I would literally just sit there, run my mouth for a good twenty minutes, and post it. And people, people liked it. I don't know why. I would just be like, "Yo, this dude's doing this, and this is why bullshit." And I don't, I don't even know how I did it. I just like to fucking ramble, honestly. But it does seem like a few people like that. I may go back to that. And all those were in, were just off the top of my head. I never, like, fucking scripted any of those videos. Like, some of my dip reviews, like, I have to write down ideas and shit, things to mention in my videos anymore. But back then, I could literally just turn on the camera, wait, like, five seconds so I knew where to cut out at Sony Vegas. And I just start talking shit about something. Sometimes I talk about two or three or four different things. Sometimes I talk about one different thing. People seem to enjoy it. I tried to do reaction shit. People didn't really like that. I've tried gaming back a little bit before. People didn't really dig that. But I was playing. I tried to do a uh, let's play on gun because I knew that was the one fucking game I could do. Let's play on it. People didn't really care for it. I don't know. Fuck it. I don't need, I'm, I'm surprised YouTube is even still a thing. It's like so broke. Hey, someone messaged me. Hold up. It's probably Nathaniel, man. F I will be leaving. Um, I'll, I'll read that later. It's from my aunt. It's a really big message. I don't feel like reading it right now. Um, shit. God, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah. YouTube is broken. 
I don't even know how fucking Redneck TV is even getting still getting views off dip reviews. I don't know how anyone is. Because I don't know, I guess it's just where I, I guess it's just where I'm older now. But when I was like fifteen when I, I was like when I was like fourteen or fifteen, when I like first started like actually dipping like on the reg when my when I told my mom I was dipping. A little bit before that, I liked watching Real Dipper 24, but, uh, no, I still, really, I owe him, because one of his videos is the reason I told, I pretty much did what he did, and texted both my parents and asked them to buy me dip, and, yeah. Uh, it's just not what it used to be, man. Like, back then, when my mom would actually buy me dip, uh, I put in a dip at school from nicotine withdrawal. I'll admit that nicotine withdrawal got me pretty damn good in school. But, uh, I, uh, it's just not the same. I used to, I used to, I wouldn't, I would not put a dip in unless I was doing a Thrill Dip 24 or Outlaw or Mud Jug 1 or whatever. I didn't like doing Mud Jug 1 until I got my Mud Jug because, man, I used, to, I, that's, that's for later in the video, but, uh, it just used to be so fun to pack a dip with someone on the video, and I tried to do that the other day. I was watching uh, Joey Let's Dipping, and I tried to do that. It, it, it's it's just eh. it used to be fun. It used to feel like I was doing something. I guess when I was underage, I don't know. It just felt like I was like, yeah, I'm doing something I'm supposed to, and this guy's doing it with me, and hell yeah, I don't know, something like that maybe. I honestly, I honestly have no idea why it was. I have no idea why it was so interesting to me, but it was. It was a whole lot. Uh, oh, and shit, them fucking mud jugs. You, if you notice, two are missing. Uh, two of them are at my grandparents. I keep them down there because, you know, for when I'm down there, so I can have a spitter. Because every time I go down there, they do not have, they never have cans and they never have water bottles for some reason. Like, they, they, they fucking somehow managed to get rid of them instantly. So I can never find a spitter. So if I'm up there and want to dip, I either got to spit out the door, spit out the window, or something, or spit in my trash can. So I took myself a much of it there. But god damn, dude. Those things, fucking, where, where is it? Those things used to be so badass to me. That one signed, that one out there, fucking hey, god damn it. Eh, okay. That one, signed by Mojo Gang, Chris Dips one. Dude, I thought that was a shit. I still do, I still think it's pretty cool. That internet famous people, I got something signed by internet famous people, but um, dude, those are just you know the basic ones. I got three, I got four basics, and three with designs. But uh, I don't know what happened to those either, man. I used to think those were the absolute shit. If I wouldn't, if there was, a, there was a, a hot minute. I had so many fucking mud jugs, cause uh, I would literally, I got a round table right here. I would literally like set it in the middle of my room if I had Roy and uh, his friends over. I'd set it in the middle of my room, go get them some chairs, like so some kitchen chairs set in, and I would fucking put all those mud jugs around the corner, around so like everyone could have their own spitter. Uh, me two years ago. Will not be spitting in this. I'd be like, um, no. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. They, they, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. Those things are still badass. You know, they're today's those brass ones. But I mean, don't get me wrong. They're cool as fuck. But to be honest, they do spill. Um, all of mine have spilled on me at least once. Or at least leaked spit. However you want to say it. I've dropped them and the funnels have come off of them. They're not everything they're made out to be. They're really not. Cool as fuck spitters, you know. It's cool as fuck to be walking around and be spitting in that thing where while this other dude. Uh, it was cool as fuck while I'm thinking about it. I was walking through Walmart. I had my Keep It Fucking American one. I had my Keep It Fucking American can lid that's up there too. And my Keep It Fucking American hoodie. And I was walking through Walmart spitting in it, and the dude, like, looked at me. He had his bottle, and he, like, put it in his pocket in shame. But I was like, bitch. 
bitch. <laughs> oh shit, man. Shit that used to interest me don't interest me no more. It is so boring, dude. Not even fishing interests me anymore. Like, I went fishing the other day, and I stayed for four fucking hours, and I was so fucking bored. It was the most bored I've ever been. I used to be able to stay on the lake from 9 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock at night, not even thinking about it. Like, stopping long enough to go eat. And going back out. Like, man. And video games. I used to be able to stay up all goddamn night and play video games. I don't remember the last time I played a video game. The only thing I use that PlayStation for anymore is Netflix and YouTube. I don't even remember the last time I put that fucking headset on. It's kind of depressing. Shit's like changing, and it's like, damn, whatever, the change is like a natchy part of like your existence. What happened to Coke Junkies? Nigga? What? I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look up, see what the fuck happened to Coke Junkies. I know we did the Outdoor Limits thing, but he just kind of dropped off the face of the earth. But whatever, this video is going on 16 minutes long, I'm gonna get out of here until next time. I'm your boy. Like this Copenhagen. If you want to see more videos like this, um, like with this sort of vibing shits, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'm outie, like two and a half million.